I, I have two websites, by the way. One is my Sin and Syntax website, and I also have a website called prosedoctors.com, which I work with some other editors, whom I think are some of the top editors around, and we do freelance editing. And we have an essay there that uh, describes these different levels of editing, because most people don't understand them. In some ways, the most, the, I guess you could say the, the first level of editing is copy editing, which really is like what your mom did when you turned in your term paper junior year of high school. She made sure that the spelling was correct, the commas were correct, the capital letters that were, the words that were supposed to be capitalized were capitalized, and that's copy editing. It's really um, giving a certain professional polish to the prose and making sure that you're doing things the way the dictionary tells you to do them and you're doing things the way that particular publication does them, you're what we call applying style. So it's really mechanical. It's not so much about the expression, the meaning, the, uh, the way the prose sings or doesn't sing. It's just making sure that it's correct and you're not going to embarrass yourself. Everybody should get everything copy edited. If you should find a friend who's a good proofreader and have someone proofread anything you write before you put it online or send it to anyone. Because we all make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. So you need to have a friend or someone who's a really good proofreader always ready to, um, to proofread slash copy edit your work. Line it, let me jump to developmental editing, which is kind of the other end of the spectrum, or content editing, it's sometimes called. And that's when an editor takes a look at your whole manuscript and looks at things like, are, are the chapters in the right order? Are the paragraphs in the right order? Should things be rearranged? Is this the right number of chapters? Should you subdivide the book into part one, two, and three? Is there a hole, a huge hole somewhere there, something that you haven't covered or that you ought to explain that you haven't explained? Uh, that's development editing. And a developmental editor reads the whole book, holds the whole book in his or her head, and helps you figure out big picture questions and order of chapters and order of paragraphs. In between copy editing and developmental editing is line editing. And I say in between because the best copy editors are really good line editors. And many developmental editors are also line editors. And line editing is my favorite thing. Line editing is when you are looking sentence by sentence. You're looking at the words. Did a writer choose the best word for a particular occasion? Might this sentence be trimmed or tightened in such a way that strengthens it? Um, is there a phrase that can be turned that hasn't been turned? So line editing kind of makes the prose sing, but it neither looks at the really big picture nor at the really picky and picture.